all health professionals agree that breastfeeding is the best start you can give your baby. However, if you choose to bottle feed, infant formula is a good alternative. Infant formula can provide the correct nutrients for your baby, but cannot provide the protection against illness. As it can take some time before a newborn's immune system develops, all equipment must be washed well and sterilised before feeding. It's very important to keep all equipment used for baby feeding thoroughly clean. It doesn't matter whether it's breast or bottle feeding, we're talking bottles, teats, breast pumps. They need to be washed thoroughly and then sterilised. This is to prevent babies getting infections. We have boiling in a saucepan of water. We can go on to chemical sterilising. You can use steam sterilising or you can use microwave sterilising. These are four different choices and you choose what suits your lifestyle best. When you're steam sterilising, place your bottles, teats and other equipment into the freestanding electrical unit. Add the specified amount of water and switch the unit on. Sterilising takes about 8 to 12 minutes and the bottles remain sterilised for about 3 hours. For microwave sterilising, place the bottles in a microwave safe steriliser with a small amount of water. Fasten the lid and place in the microwave according to the manufacturer's instructions. Sterilisation takes about 10 minutes. For chemical sterilising, make up the chemical solution using tablets or liquid, following the manufacturer's instructions. All equipment must be completely submerged, making sure no air is trapped in the bottles or teats. Sterilising takes 30 minutes and equipment will remain sterilised for 24 hours. When boiling to sterilise, fill a large saucepan with cold water. All of the equipment must be fully immersed with no air pockets. Cover with a lid and bring to the boil. Once the water has boiled, continue to boil for at least 10 minutes. Bottles will remain sterilised for about 3 hours. There will be clear and detailed instructions on the packaging of the formula you use. Make sure you follow them precisely. To prepare a bottle feed, boil fresh tap water in a kettle. When it's boiled, leave it to cool in the kettle for 30 minutes, but no longer. Clean the work surface well and wash and dry your hands. Remove the lid from the steriliser and take out the bottle, the teat and the cap using tongs. Carefully pour the required amount of boiled water into the bottle. Using the clean scoop provided, add the exact amount of formula to the boiled water. Remember, adding too much or too little formula could make your baby sick. Reseal the packaging to protect it from germs and moisture. Screw the bottle lid tightly and shake well to mix the contents. To check the feed is not too hot, shake the bottle and place a drop of liquid on the inside of your wrist. It should feel lukewarm, not hot. To cool the feed down quickly, hold the bottle under cold running water or place it in a large bowl of cold water, making sure the water doesn't reach above the neck of the bottle. Your newborn will probably take between two and four ounces per feed during the first few weeks and will probably be hungry every two to four hours. 
This is only a guideline and it's recommended to feed your baby on demand. This means whenever and as often as they look for food. Do not try and make your baby finish a bottle if they don't want to and never reuse leftover milk once your baby finishes feeding. There are hunger cues to look out for. Babies will stick out their tongue, they may pout their lips, they may put their hand in their mouths, they may eventually start crying. But don't let your baby cry too much before a feed because they can take in quite a lot of air which can cause discomfort for them later on. When feeding your baby, you should be in a comfortable chair and position. Lean your baby back at a slight incline while supporting the back of the head and neck. Your baby's head should be higher than the rest of their body. When you're feeding, hold the bottle with the end tilted up enough so the milk completely fills the nipple. This stops your baby swallowing air. As the bottle empties, you may find you need to hold it almost upright. When babies feed, especially from a bottle, they take in air. They can also take in air if they cry before feeding. If the air isn't brought up, it can get trapped and cause discomfort later on. There are some common positions for winding, but use whatever suits you and your baby best. Try holding your baby, leaning against your shoulder and rubbing or patting their back. It's a good idea to put a towel or a cloth over your shoulder in case more than wind comes up. Another position is sitting your baby upright on your lap, supporting him under his chin and rubbing his back. Or lying your baby face down across your lap and gently rubbing or patting their back can also be a good way of bringing up wind.